Hey guys, Brody here. Welcome back to Fishing Barrett C. Here we have part number three of our brand new career mode fishing, obviously, in Barrett C. So we're still with the early boat. Uh, we have three 500 hook long lines baited with mackerel. So I think we're going to go and set all three of these um, and target some pollock which is over here. So let's. Let's head straight to say as far over here as we can. Oop, there we go. I want to run these long lines out and I want to try and expand our view. Um, let's try and turn around to this marker and then we can head back north. But we're not going to unlock much of this because you know we don't have I guess the greatest um, radar in the world, of course. Only got a little tiny radar, so yeah, I don't know how. Don't know how much we're going to unlock by driving, but I need to sort of set ourselves up, just let ourselves drive sort of up and down a little bit, unlock a little bit more, so we can try and see if there's any more you know, pollock or haddock or anything out this direction. So let's um head north now, dump some gear, head north, hope for the best, and then we will, um, not storage zone, we'll have a look at what else we can sort of see a bit further up. Some redfish, I know pollock or haddock, I think that's pollock there. Some more redfish, so that's good. Right, let's go through to say about here somewhere. Keep pressing escape, it still doesn't work, I don't know why. Drop our next one off here. We'll move forward a little bit further again. Set another one. Head back to town, come back out, pick it up, and see how we go. I'd rather maybe get the next boat with a much better radar before we go, you know, driving too far. Um, right from there, let's go to about here. Stop pressing escape, press M. There we go. Um, so our logbook, certificate. Still got a little bit we need to drive yet to get that next level. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the next level will be and what boats we may be able to unlock. It'd be good to get a, a fishing hand as well, someone to be able to help us out. Getting all the fishing done, so head back to Hammerfest. We'll work out um, how long it's going to take us to get back. King crab, where's the king crab? A little bit of crab around, not much, but let's go off. Um, six hours, so say so 12 hours. We want to get back at about 19 hours, so that's about seven hours sleep. Right, another job. What job do we have? Some cod. I don't know if we'll be able to do that. We should be able to. I didn't see any cod on the screen though. Um, we need to skip through seven hours. There we go. Let's have a look at the dock. Have a look at the Borg. Um, amateur, does I say crew none? Crew none. Crew none. We can get these three, probably the next ones. Uh, 1.2, 450 for the Sharkin, 450 for the Selfie, so we can go Crab Pot, Long Line, 690 for this guy, uh, Junior. They're all, they're all Junior, so that must be the next level we can go for. So 690, 450, 450, 1.2 for some strange reason. This guy's 180,000. Um, still the same quota. It's just a lot quicker. Engine horsepower is a lot more. This guy's got more horsepower, but it's actually quicker too. Actually, no, it's not. It's not quicker. 10 knots, 12 knots. I'd really like to get this guy. I know we can't get anyone to help us, but I think it'd be cool just to get this boat. Anyway, let's um. Go back fishing again. Let's try and get out of this dock area without 
So they're damaging too much. Oh, there we go, swing around. Head back out to our lines and hope that um got a decent amount of fish. Decent amount of fish on board, so Pollock Pollock is still there, so it hasn't gone yet. Still don't have any other long lines. I've still only got the three long lines, so actually that was not quite long enough. There we go, 18 hours. It's probably a little bit quicker to get out there than what it was the first time. Alright, let's grab these lines and see how we go. 3,000 kilos, so let's hope we get a thousand for each line. So we can increase our hull as well, but I don't really want to increase our hull if we don't have to. If we can get enough money out of this catch. Head back, sell it, come back again. We might be able to buy that other boat soon, I hope. Why does it not let us pick those up? Might be a speed thing. I'll slow down a little bit. There we go. Must have been a speed thing. Going through a little bit too quick. Right, 1 of 15, so we know it's full. 2 of 15. Let's try and get all these perfect, but we've already made one mistake already. I only got a good on one of them. Yeah, two of them. Two from four. Yeah. Still a pass mark. Oh, that was terrible. That was really slow, that one. I think our boat's starting to turn around and head backwards again. Or is it just floating backwards? I don't know, I think it's still pointing the right way. I think it might just be floating the wrong direction. Alright, so you can get rid of the HUD, but... Okay, a bit of a screenshot. When you get rid of the HUD, you can't actually see when you're meant to strike the fish. Oh, here comes crazy fish. Is that the cod? Yeah, that's a cod. Probably would have been able to get that mission done, but I don't think you can get the cod, then accept the mission, then deliver it. I think you've got to accept the mission before you actually get the cod. 56%. So that's over... Just over a thousand, eleven hundred. So, looking good for. No, I don't want to do that. Looking good for getting a full hull, heading back in again. So that's fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred hooks. But hopefully, if we can get this full, get this back into town. May be able to get a half decent loan to be able to buy that next boat. Don't know, fingers crossed we can, but not quite sure. Right, let's start to slow down a bit. Because I know how bad these guys are. Actually making sure we're hitting it at the right speed. Alright, let's aim for all perfects, which Probably isn't really going to matter because we're going to end up with a full boat anyway. Just hope we get a lot of pollock and redfish because that's where the money is at the moment. Oop, missed one already. Three out of four. So I'm pretty sure those those are the the pollock, like the really long ones. These guys, the sardine-looking things. Not sure about the haddock. I think the haddock had got the um, the more pointy fin, I guess. That's Pollock again. Is this a haddock? No, that's Pollock again too, I think. Not that I can really look down. It's Pollock again. So you guys will probably be able to tell me the difference. 
between the Pollock and the Haddock, but... Alright, 66%, lucky last. 71%. Boom, actually that wasn't as good, that one, that's... Oof. Not quite um, at 1800. Can we have a look? Set the keyboard, we've got nothing to set. Um, gut fish. Drive from out here, we don't need to drive from out here. Let's head towards this other one. Oh, why does it do that? I'm pressing the exit button. There's two. Two rival fishermen right there look like they might be heading back. Actually, they might be fishing as well because this is a decent fishing area, so I'd say they're all fishing as well. Alright, so we need to get this picked up, head back into town, then we will um, gut before we sell. Hopefully, it makes some money. There's a whale just here. Two whales actually. Three whales. Four whales. Look at that. Big pot of whales. Alright, let's get these guys on the boat. Let's try and fill our hold. Alright, two in a row. Can we see the whales swim past? Ah, oh, bugger. I don't know if we'll be able to, because the mouse keeps moving back towards the fish when I look away. As long as I don't try and eat our fish while they're on the line, because we don't want to catch a bloody whale when I'm sinking the bloody boat, for sure. Alright, just about halfway through, 33%. We've only missed one so far, so that's not too bad. We really need to increase our our hook as well, try and buy the the better hook. I think I can just see the whales now off to the distance the top left of the screen. Just up there. There they are, just swimming past. So two more to go, sixty-three percent. Can we get the seventy-three? Might help us fill the boat, hopefully. Beautiful, 73%. 595, not quite. So the first one was good and the second two weren't that great. I mean, haven't got a great deal of room left on the boat, so can't complain too much, but still would have been better. A couple of boats in here, a couple of boats here as well. There's boats, just crazy boats all over the place. I'm not sure what these guys, what the orange ones mean. They might be recreational speed boats, maybe. There's another one down there. Alright, let's um, gut our fish while we're in here. To get four stars. We need five stars. Come on. Nope. Oh. Terrible. That was probably not that good either. Okay, that's a five star. So go nice and steady. Just try and follow the line with the mouse. Just ignore where the actual knife is. There we go. It's changed a lot since back in the day when we used to do the gutting. The gutting was a lot harder before. There was like a magnet which dragged the, the fish all over the place, which was crazy. 48,000 kroners. Alright, let's have a look at the bank. What are you going to give us? Ooh, 290,000. 200,000. 8,000 per month. Take this loan. Take this bad loan. Alright, what do we have? 
346,000. Um, get the Yazzie. We can't get these other guys yet. Definitely want to buy the Yazzie. Look at this. Speedboat. Lovely. Change name. Speedy. Uh, can we get black? Other way. Okay, speedy. Um, upgrade, some storage. Let's go. Let's go. Can we get this 200,000? No, we can't. Hmm. Better gutting. Could probably improve a little bit. I don't know if I should improve. Probably should actually. Actually. So why can't we go to the fish market, but we can. Um, let's actually get out of here. Let's have a look. How much have we got? 2,000 kilos. So we need to really improve that. Um, fish market. That should be 2,000 kilos. Should be 4,000. Let's have a look at storage. Need to buy the previous one first. Right, have a look now. What do we have? 4,000. Okay, so certainly want to go some mackerel like that. Uh, get one more. We can't. Four lines. So four lines. That should be about 4,000 kilos. So that should be okay. I hope. Um, back to here. Cruise ship. I don't even really want to worry about that. It's just a waste of time, really. Um, can you increase the engine? Uh, the radar, which probably isn't going to hurt. Fishing quota. Let's go the radar. Not going to worry about the engine. What about us? Could go. Either the better gut or the bigger fish. 2%, which isn't really much. Neither of them is really that much, to be honest. Right, let's not worry about it. Let's go. Get out of here. Right, look at this. Look at this boat. Beautiful. Beautiful boat. It's a lot quicker than the other guy. Exactly what we needed to allow us to be able to um, open up a lot more areas out here, of course. All right, take that off. Let's go like this. We'll go set gear. Want to head directly north. Not going to take us anywhere near as long to get to and from now. Double the fuel, mount the tank, but I don't know how much it's going to sort of take. Right, let's go fight out. Don't know how much further we want to go. It's probably not too much further. There we go, alright, set the gear. So we don't have enough money. If we had like another 100,000, possibly go back in, grab another four long lines. Set one, grab one, set one, grab one, that sort of thing. Which would be better for time wise, but I just hope that this is going to work out the way we want it to. Right, exit there. Set this gear as well. Boat's going to be a whole heap quicker, which is awesome. A full hold, 4,000 kilos. Probably not going to bring in a massive amount of money, but we'll see how we go. Haddock season has just started. Um, but we're looking for Pollock anyway. Pollock has got the better price. Uh, sales. Pollock, um, 15, 19, 21. The Haddock is really, really low. So this guy's just got like the pointier fin. Alright, let's go to here. 
set this gear. And we try and sort of come down here as far as the, the map goes, I suppose. See how we go. How we travel with time. Ten minutes. So we have ten minutes to go before we need to end the episode. So we might be able to do a little bit of a little bit of boating maybe. So let's head directly west. Try and work out how big this is gonna this circle's gonna be. Probably a little bit more I guess. I'm starting to swing around now and try and head oh Jesus south. Probably should have got boat insurance. Just in case we um flip the boat over. So we've got set gear collect gear drive got got on the front of the boat, that's pretty good. Oh, here comes another one. What I mate I got the same boat. So we're still we're sort of going. Oh Jesus, going off track a little bit. Work no lights, interior lights. We don't even have any. Search light we don't have. We don't have work lights. We've only got running lights. There's definitely more fish over this way. Look at this. Awesome. There's gonna be heaps more fish over here, I think. Let's um turn around and head east again, or west again I should say. Let's go a little bit further. I'll head back north. Try and unlock it. Look at our certificate too. It shouldn't take us too long to get um to get that up to that next level. So still heading west for a little bit longer. Might slowly turn north now. Boat is pretty bloody quick, which is good. Head north, look at the map again. Still a huge amount of fish out here. What about cod? Not really king crab. Certainly crab out here. Redfish and pollock. Haddock. Plenty out this way for now. Might get over fish soon though, and not be quite as good. As far as the map goes, I don't know if there's much down here, but this is a real hot spot here. It's about 43 kilometres an hour it does, which is pretty quick for me. For um, you know, being on a boat. Another quick screenshot. We'll head just up past the number four here, then we'll. Sort of head to town. Look at how long it's going to take to get to town. Alright, there we go, that'll do. Let's head. Let's head to town. So it's 3 o'clock in the morning. So we've got 1, 2, say 3 hours, 3 hours to get back. Minus 5. 3 hours plus 5 is 18, so 10, let's say 11 hours, 11 or 12 hours sleep, and we'll head back out. I'll swing him in. Dock, sleep for 12. Let's undock. Let's see, try not to hit, hit the dock, we'll be right. Okay, so any news in the journal? No new events. Let's head straight back out. Try and pick up this guy. Should be close to 19, 20 hours by the time we get there. 20 hours, look at that. Perfect. Let's head forward. Shame we can't have a help. I like There's an extra seat there. We're going to have to slow right down to get close to it. Don't overshoot it. There we go. Shut the engine down. Come on.
Come on. Oh, just got it. A little bit too far away. Let's see how we go with these lines. Hopefully we can get a good amount of fish on the boat again. So if we had like a set of four lines in the water, go back, buy another four lines, go back out and set them, go back out, buy another four lines, go back out and set them, you know, we could have you know, a good constant cycle of um, three different sets of lines going at once for only three hours from town sort of thing. So six hours out, set in, six hours, seven hours, out or back in back out and set back in It'll be about 14 15 16 hours or something like that then for the third one by the time you go out and set the first lot will be ready to go again it's just it's like eighty thousand dollars just for the lines plus another set of lines so one hundred and sixty thousand for the lines which is a little bit frustrating be good if we could actually have we could actually pre-buy the bait so it's already on the boat have the bait there so we can actually bait the lines while we're out at sea would be so much better 71% what'd we get geez not a lot 639 kilos not a lot at all I don't know what we're doing we need to move into the middle a bit more. Alright, we'll head towards this one. We've got other boats in the way again now. Can't really see where our lines are from here. Oh, we'll start to slow down. Pick this guy up. sure how slow we're gonna to have to go. Nine kilometers an hour, wasn't too bad. All right, I need to try and perfect as much of this as we can. Definitely need to improve our hook, get some bigger fish. Eighteen percent. 23% 28, that's good, we've only missed one from six so far It's not too bad 33% 38% 3 48% 53, that, doing really, really well. So you guys um, still need to let me know where you think we should sort of head in the future with this series. Should we just aim to try and do a lot of crabbing? Um, the money is where the crabs are at this point in time, but um, I don't mind doing trawling either, but I've just never, never been that good at it, to be honest. So you guys let me know. That was a much better one. That was a thousand I think that's good how far that was a little bit further in so we certainly need to focus on the center part of this this circle not be sort of fishing on the edge I think that's what we've been doing the whole time is sort of fishing on the edge living life on the edge fishing on the edge you know all that sort of stuff um, how are we going with the certificate nearly halfway there so we've got this line and another one to go head back into town. Might fast travel to town. Um, then end the episode, rebate, and I might drive out. Get ready for the next episode. Slow right down. Ah, too quick. Right, it's aim to get this second one then I suppose. We'll reel it in backwards. It always seems to be raining out here. 
There's our timer in the background. I'll grab some more of this Pollock. I think that's that's a haddock there, is it? I don't know. It's hard to sort of tell. There must be two different sort of colours. Oh, I miss, missed one up already. 23 Good, so we've got one more to go that we need to head back to town, gut, sell, end the episode and then focus on the next one. Hopefully we can still continue to bring in some more cash and upgrade our boats and that sort of stuff get to the next next level of boats would be nice it is quite a grind early on it really is um, to get to the bigger boats but I mean, that's not a bad thing you don't want it to be too easy too early can we get the 70% again two more perfects no fail Let's go for the good old 69er. Okay, 69%. The redfish right at the end. That's better. About 900 kilos or so. Two and a half thousand. We've got 1500 left to go. Still need to get towards the center of this a little bit better. I don't know if we can actually. Not that was that far. Move forward a little bit. towards this guy and try and pick him up without too many dramas. Let's head straight alongside. We need to make sure we're only doing about 9 k's by the time we get alongside. Oh, shut it down. There we go. Almost near perfect that one. Let's hope for a perfect, perfect hookup. Oh, that's two, three, four, beautiful. Ah, oh, bugger. We always get four and then bugger the next one up. Two in a row. Awesome. Alright, 31%. 36 percent. 41. 46. So hopefully we can get pretty close to a full boat. This is gonna be the most we've brought into town. So the last one, um, last boat had 3,000 capacity, 3,000 kilos, this one's got 4,000. So hopefully we can um, get pretty close, but anything above 3,000 is our biggest catch yet. Boom, 69% again, favourite number. That's a good thousand or so again. So three and a half, 429 kilos to go. So still a little bit short, but not too bad. Let's travel in, look at our fuel. It does chew it pretty quick, but. Oh, let's head forward, turn hard left. Oh, shut the boat down, let's do our gutting now. Hopefully we don't run into the dock. Which is highly likely. Oh, it's a little bit too far, I think. I don't know if we should stop right on the cross or just a little bit before. Go, okay, how's that? That was terrible. How was that terrible?
stop that one a little bit early again I think so press right on the cross follow it all the way through and then let go beautiful done dock sell 65,000 that time so that's not too bad at all um, the haddock how much did we get? Not a great deal. We got a lot of Pollock, which is $20 a kilo. It's pretty good. $21 a kilo. The cod's still the best price, but we just can't find... Can't find a good area for the cod. It might be over here somewhere, but... Anyway, guys, what I'll do is I'll, um... Rebate our lines. I'll head back out and we'll get ready for our next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of the series so far and what you want to see in the future. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.